friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Sky, and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. So today we are going to be going through some of my fall favorites. These are items from makeup to jewelry to clothing to household decor items and everything in between. I am so excited to share these with y'all because I truly love and enjoy these pieces and I'm using them this season and so I thought why not share them with each one of you. The first few pieces that I want to share with y'all today are actually pieces that I'm wearing. We're going to start with my jewelry. My jewelry is from a company called Ana Luisa and I recently fell in love with them. Everything they sell on their website is sustainable. It's all affordable. Prices start at $39 and honestly, I just fell in love. I had such a hard time picking out pieces because I honestly wanted one of everything. So I'm going to share what I am actually wearing today I have these beautiful little rose earrings I think those are gorgeous and then I love this necklace it is the most beautiful necklace it kind of has a pearl color to it and it's going to match anything and everything that I wear this fall season these pieces are a great treat for yourself but also keeping loved ones in mind as we are quickly approaching the holiday season jewelry is always a go-to gift for us for our moms and mother-in-law I just feel like it's a treasured gift something they can wear every single day and think about you everything from the ordering process to getting these delivered to my doorstep was so seamless, so quick and easy. They ship really fast over at Ana Luisa, which is always so fun because when we order something, especially something like jewelry that you're excited to receive, you want to get it in the mail as soon as possible. And that is just one thing that I love so much about their company. And on top of all of that goodness, they have the cutest packaging ever. Look at this little pouch and it says Ana Luisa sit there on the bottom and then it has a magnetic enclosure which I love so much it keeps your jewelry nice safe and sound and it's also great for traveling with these I didn't think about that before but this would be so great going on trips and taking your jewelry with you just to keep it protected and so of course I've got my jewelry inside there I love that so much I want to share some other pieces that I grabbed as well I really love the simplicity of this necklace. This is just one of those everyday pieces that I can wear all the time with any outfit and it just dresses it up just a little bit. And in addition to this beautiful necklace and these rose earrings, I also grabbed the rose necklace to match so that I can pair those together whenever I decide to. But again, just so timeless these pieces are just great for everyday wearing and i am more simple when it comes to my jewelry i don't know if y'all have noticed that over here on youtube but i typically like to wear maybe a pair of earrings and or a necklace and my wedding ring and that is about it so um this is just the perfect combo for me i am so excited to have these pieces on rotation and just to get to enjoy them throughout the season. Ana Luisa is so kind to offer y'all 10% off on your purchase. I highly recommend hitting the link in my video description down below and checking out their website. Take advantage of that discount. You'll just use code HOUSEANDHOME10. And honestly, I hope that you find some pieces you love. I know that I sure did. Okay, friends, so moving on, I am gonna share some clothing items that I'm loving this season. So I actually recently kind of went through my closet and did another clear out. Those of you who follow me on Instagram probably saw in the last couple of weeks, I've done two closet sales in my Instagram stories and I could probably do a whole nother. I love to take pieces out as I bring new pieces in. I just cannot continue to accumulate. I don't know if that's just my personality, but... I don't know. So I have cleared out quite a bit and also made some room in the budget by doing so to purchase some new items. 
The sweater I'm wearing today is from Old Navy and I loved it so much that I ended up actually getting two and I just got them in different colors. Um, so it is just a beautiful knit and you can't go wrong. I feel like half of my fall wardrobe is just this cozy cream color and just all of the sweaters that are oversized with leggings. I just want to be comfortable and so that is my go-to. I also love that I can add my jewelry to these outfits and just make them look a little bit dressier, especially if I am going out. So I will show you the full body length view of this sweater. Um, one thing that I did do and you might want to note is I sized up actually two sizes. So for me, a medium to a large would be like probably my normal just go-to size, but I wanted this to be long enough that I could wear it with um, leggings and just a cute pair of boots and be good to go. So I did grab an extra large in these sweaters and they are oversized and exactly how I want them. I don't feel like they're too baggy. Um, I don't feel like you can get too baggy with a sweater, but... I love them so very much. So let me pull the other color and show that to you. The other one that I grabbed is this like camel color and it's just so cute. Again, super neutral. I feel like too with my hair having more blonde in it. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've been like just a solid natural brunette for so long. I feel like I'm taking into account like my hair with my outfit crazy does anyone else do this maybe it's me just getting used to it but I felt like this color looked really pretty with my hair and then again just just that neutral fall pick but so cozy love the texture honestly oh, I love them y'all in my store I was at an old navy outlet these were $36.99 if I can find them and link them online I will definitely do that for y'all um, it does say tunic length, but I tried on a large and I just, I don't know. I was like my bum to be like covered. So anyway, that is why I went with that size. Um, but the tag says $39.99. So they may be a little bit more expensive on, um, the website, but still nonetheless for like a good quality cozy sweater, I feel like that's a pretty affordable price. I do kind of feel like a broken record sharing all of the tan and cream items, but that is just like my color palette. I feel like it doesn't sway too far from these colors during the fall. This is a huge win from Amazon. Amazon can be so hit or miss when it comes to clothing, I feel like. I remember this summer I ordered a dress. Um... It was, it was just a total flop, y'all. It was a total flop. It was so scratchy and uncomfortable and somehow it had good reviews. I don't know if I just got a bad batch, but I feel like it's always kind of a risk, really anytime ordering something online. But in my experience with Amazon, it's kind of been hit or miss. This was a total hit. I love this little shacket so much. It is corduroy. And I actually just pulled it right out of my closet because I wore it the other day, so it wasn't clean. But I want you to see, like, the button detail. It's so cute. I actually wore this um, with some of my Madewell jeans the other day and had it buttoned up. But you could easily leave the buttons open. Um, it looks like... Oh, it's just fuzz. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like I already stained it. Nope, just fuzz. Um, but such a cute piece. And it's thick enough to where it feels good in like 60 degree weather. Um, it's not heavy to where it feels like a jacket, if that makes sense. I guess that's why they call it a jacket. So anyway, you can tell I'm not, not a fashion YouTuber. I grabbed this cute apron from Hearth and Hand. And if you've been watching my videos this season, you saw me actually wearing this in a recent baking video that I shared are pumpkin muffins and my favorite apple crisp. I'll link that down below so you can check it out if you missed it. But it's just a, I don't know if it's actual linen. It's 90% cotton, 10% linen, um, but it does feel more like a linen type of material. Anyway, I love it. I think it's super cute. It was very affordable. I don't remember how much, but I want to say probably 20 or under. Um, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it this season.
I stocked up on some socks. These actually just came through today through a Target delivery. Um, I love just cozy, chunky knit socks to go along with my leggings and my sweaters. So these are just universal thread, but I wanted to stock up and grab a couple of different packs. This one's also universal thread. Um, these ones are a little thinner than the others, but I think these will keep me nice and warm and looking super cute. Okay, friends, I'm putting this in my fall favorites video because it is a favorite. I just wish they had the cream. The cream color was out of stock. So this is the Stars Above bathrobe. And I wanted to swap out my linen bathrobe for something a little bit warmer. Um, we are up early with the kids in the morning, usually around 6 a.m. And just, you know that feeling of just like getting out of bed and just being chilly. And so I wanted something that I could just throw over my pajamas while I am helping the kids get off to school. So this is so soft. I wish you could feel it. It's just like a fleece material. So cozy. Um, but... I do wish that, that my Target had that cream color in stock because I am bound to stain this puppy up, but that's okay. It's washable. So I am putting this in my fall favorites because I feel like a soft, cozy robe is the way to go. I also have one from H&M a couple of seasons back. I think I actually got it for Christmas last year, um, and it's a heavier weight as well, so I'll probably swap between the two. Um, but a robe is just like a must have in the winter. I grabbed this blanket. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. This is, I'm filming this on Friday. We're supposed to get hit hard with the rain and storms from the hurricane tonight and tomorrow. Um, but not terrible. So we should, we should be good. We usually are, um, inland enough that we just get some wind and rain. Um, anyway, so if you hear that, the trees are hitting the window. This throw blanket from Target is so cute. I have this one hanging up right now in our bedroom on the wall. And I pull it off all the time and use it on our couch. It's just so soft and cozy. And I love that it has kind of that heathered look to it. It actually matches my socks. <laughs> It's the whole vibe together. So cute. I grabbed a few pillows this season, but this one is just my favorite. It catches my eye every time I walk past it. And I really like the tan against a lot of the whites that we have in our home. I love the fringe detail on the edges. This is one of the oversized pillows and I currently have it on our entryway bench. And I just feel like this is a fall staple. You can use it on your sofa, you can throw it on your bed, um, just really anywhere. But this is probably my favorite pillow that I picked up this season. Okay. Let's see, I'm kind of going all over the place here, but I do want to share about these. So these are, um, are they called mules? I am not cool and up with the lingo. Or clogs, I'm not sure. I guess they're not clogs because they're flat, but I grabbed these from Old Navy and I wanted to just see if I liked them and if I would end up using a shoe like this. Our fall tends to be a little bit longer than what we used to have when we lived in Illinois. Um, so here in Charlotte, we kind of get to enjoy it a little bit longer, it feels like. So I do think that I'm going to use these, but I think I'm going to invest in a higher quality one. So I'm pretty much just sharing these for I feel like these could be a staple if you're maybe like on the west coast or like southeast like us <laughs> or south I suppose um but yeah they're great these were old navy they were super affordable like 20 bucks maybe but if you can see at the nose of the shoe there I do have a little bit of scratching and hair um so I've had these for like three weeks, so I wouldn't recommend 
getting the cheap of the cheap if you're going to go this route. That's just my personal experience. But I wear these all the time and I love that I can just slip them on and it's really in between that sandal and the boot, which I love. So um, I grabbed some boots last year from Ruli that I really like. They're actually still in storage. I haven't pulled them out yet. Um, but Ruli is always a great place, I feel like, to find some high quality but not overly priced boots and shoes. Um, moving back to a couple of house items, and then I want to share my favorite eyeshadow palette, bronzer, and nail polish for this season, and that will wrap up today's video. So I have this bucket many of you have seen from Hearth and Hand. This is one of my favorite fall pieces that I picked up this year. I absolutely love the moodiness of this one. It is just a deep, dark rich color and I love the handle. I stuffed mine with some fall pumpkins. They're ceramic cream colored pumpkins and I have them on our piano um, and I love that. Another thing that I have on my piano this year are these um, antique brass candle holders. These were from House and Home, no longer available. Um, but in them is what I wanted to share with y'all. So these are the battery operated candles that I got on Amazon and we light these every single night. I love that I can just hit the remote and it turns them all on. They flicker. Seriously, they're beautiful. Talk about adding cozy in like 0.25 seconds. Um, these ones in particular are the real wax and not the plastic. And I'm so glad that I splurged, if you will. I think it was only a couple extra dollars on that because they really do look real in the nighttime. Um, I think some of some LED candles can really have a faux look to them. So I feel like these are so, so, so worth it. And they fit perfectly in my little candle holders. I know that Target has some antique brass candle holders available in stores, probably online too. Okay. So nail polish. I am not one to regularly paint my nails. However, I did it the other day with Myla. She really wanted some hot pink and I painted mine kind of like a burgundy color, just something that I had on hand and just realized how much more put together I feel when my nails are painted. And it seems like such a silly thing, but it just is how I feel. I don't know if anyone else can relate. So I'm going to try to get in the habit this fall of just taking that intentional, what is it, 10 or 15 minutes, maybe a week, every couple of days, um, just to paint my nails. So I found this color at Target. I took my burgundy off because it did feel a little bit just not like me. Um, this is called the Espressi. That's the brand, but it's the Essie brand quick dry nail color. The color is Daily Grind 95. And I was a little nervous that this was going to look gray because I feel like it kind of looks grayish in the bottle. But on my nails with my sweater that's tan, I feel like it looks so good. And I am not a professional nail doer, but I feel like it looks so good and it does make me feel a little bit more put together. And so I am loving this color. I think you can buy this stuff anywhere. Um, but again, this was Daily Grind 95 and I love it. Okay, another thing that I'm loving and using, I've been using this um, color palette from CoverGirl True Naked Nudes for the last couple of months. But I really feel like it's a good fall color palette, so that's why I wanted to share it with y'all. Um, you can tell there's three colors that I use <laughs> on a regular basis. And that is this kind of lighter color the pinky color and this like brownish. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but not too much. It's not overwhelming. So that is what you've seen on my eyes for the last couple of months. This bronzer has been well loved and used, so don't mind the um, packaging, but it's from the brand Revolution. It's from um, Target. I'm sure you can buy a lot of different places. Um, but the name of it, I want to say, is like Holiday, yep, Holiday Romance. And let me open it up. This is what I wear every day, and it's so beautiful. Such a good, like, fall and winter bronzer. Anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. 
Friends, I think that's it. I mean, of course, there's all sorts of favorites. I think I could go on and on forever, but these are just some of my recent finds and just some staples that I am loving. Now, don't forget to go and check out Ana Luisa. Check out their jewelry. It really is so affordable, y'all, and just great quality. I am honestly so impressed, and I love this. I do not want to take this necklace off. And my little earrings, they're so dainty, but I love them. I love getting a little glimpse of them. Um, and I have really sensitive ears and these have been just so great. I haven't had any issues with them whatsoever. So take advantage of my 10% off code house and home 10 and shop the link in my video description below. Okay, friends, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you have a wonderful day.